he'll continue back to Delhi and uh, now I'm trying to decide where to go next if I want to stay in Delhi or move to Mumbai or maybe Goa or go to Varanasi which is the city where they um, burn their dead it's a holy Hindu city so my main goal uh, for the rest of the time in India would be to meet some local girls and of course to get some work done so I might just stay in Delhi that might be the easiest option <laughs> Our first quick stop was the Hava Mahal. This delicate building was constructed in 1799 by Maharaja Savai Pratap Singh to enable the ladies of the royal household to watch the city life from a safe distance. The Hava Mahal is one of the most recognizable landmarks of Jaipur. And I'm trying to stop traffic. <laughs> On our way towards Delhi, we stopped in a small Indian village to visit the aunt of our tour guide Dushan and to have some tasty masala tea. After having the tea, we went for a little walk around the village. Once again, we saw a lot of swat stickers, which are an ancient symbol for well-being and good luck in India. After arriving back at the Bloom Hotel in Delhi, we went for our last group dinner of the tour. After dinner, we stopped at a small stand by the roadside where Dushan ordered a very popular Indian snack called Fire Pond. <laughs> Crossing the six lane highway back to our hotel was a bit of an adventure. <laughs> it was basically risking our lives for nothing. Oh, we made it safely, yeah. yeah, more or less safely. <laughs> Eight amazing days with the G Adventures tour had come to an end. I want to thank Dushan and all the participants of the tour for making this one of the most memorable weeks of my trip.